Hi, my name is Bob Mergenthaler, inventor of the Ultra Pump Switches at Ultra Safety Systems. I'm going to show you the installation of either a mini, a junior, or a senior with high water alarm. Take any of the switches, you put our mounting bracket, add your hose clamp depending on the size pump you have, install the float switch into the hose clamp. You can put it pretty well to the bottom, doesn't have to really be up from the bottom at all. Once you mount it, you've got a nice rugged mount. You can also add another one of our clamps to mount it to a bulkhead of a boat or places where you don't want to screw the bilge pump down to the bottom of the boat. First thing you do is you'll take a bilge pump. I like to just wrap the wire around it a little bit. Take one of the blacks and one of the browns. It doesn't matter which one. The one black goes in and right back out. The other brown goes in and right back out. And the red's for your automatic. So first thing you do is take the black wire on the bilge pump, install it into one of the black butt splices. Take a quality crimper that doesn't have a spike or a detent. You don't want to damage those waterproof splices. Take the brown wire. Install the brown wire and crimp it. After crimping the waterproof butt splices onto the two bilge pump leads, you now have the black and the brown bilge pump wire hooked to either one of my blacks and either one of my browns. You have three remaining wires, the DC negative, the manual, and the automatic that comes from your switch panel. Normal switch panels like this, you'll have a red positive wire with a fuse. You'll select either auto or manual, and this goes to ground. Down in every bilge, there'll be three wires. If you have a black wire that's hooked to your bilge pump in an existing system, you just look at the bilge pump black wire. If it has a black wire hooked to it, you'll hook that black wire to the float switch remaining black. Now you have two wires left. One's going to be automatic, one's going to be manual. The one that's hooked to a three-way splice would go to my brown wire. So look at the one that has the brown of the bilge pump and the one float switch wire, if it's the green wire or white wire, whatever it is, it connects to my brown manual wire. If it'll go in there. And in most cases, I like to make the white wire the hot for automatic. And you just put that into the red wire. That basically completes the installation of the bilge pump float switch. And instead of a terminal block or three-way splices, you have one wire into one wire, which makes them waterproof when you heat shrink them. You can either heat shrink them with a heat shrink gun. If you're careful and you have a boat that doesn't have gasoline, take a butane lighter. Don't put it into the yellow part of the flame. Put it into the blue part of the flame. It's a hydrogen reducing flame that's absorbing oxygen so fast that it can't burn the butt splice. You get a perfect seal. If not, you got a, you got a heat shrink gun. You just put the butt splices in your heat shrink gun and shake it down. Now you have a nice waterproof connection that will survive 20, 30 years in the build. That's the three wires that go up to your auto manual switch. You could also have an indicator light on your switch panel. Now if you're dealing with the senior with the high water alarm, has the extra gray wire, take our battery backup alarm and install two 9 volt batteries. You can touch it. Now you can go ahead and connect it the two wires from the alarm unit to the two wires of the float switch is the only thing you have to do and the polarity doesn't really matter but red on red and black on black is the best way to go and now you have a high water alarm even if it's not wired into the boat if you get an alarm you go to the mute position the light stays lit to let you know until the problem goes away